Hi, it's Jen with you on Music Plus TV, and I'm here with a great artist, Rocco DeLuca. Thanks, Rocco, for joining us Thanks here. for having me. And we're at the legendary, I'm going to say legendary, Ironworks Studios. You are their first artist, right, mm -hmm. to be signed to Ironworks. Correct. And how does that feel? You are their star. Um, yeah, I'm, I feel like the lonely child right now. So I'm sure I'll have some siblings soon, and uh, I'll be jealous of them when they get here. But it's all about you. There's so much focus on you right now, right. so enjoy that. I'm enjoying it. I'm spoiled a bit right now, and I'm enjoying that. Yeah, it's very cool. And your CD, your debut CD on Ironworks is I Trust You to Kill Me. Correct. An interesting title. Yeah, it is an interesting title. Uh, we've been getting um, a lot of different responses and comments about that title. But, um, you know, really, it's just a line of poetry, and it means a lot to, to me and everyone who's worked on the record. So uh, we stand by it. And you came up with that basically on your own because you're the sole songwriter. Uh, yeah. Um, at Jude Cole helped me on a couple of tracks on the record. Uh, we deconstructed a couple of songs, but for the most part, um, I'm the writer. And um, uh, the title spawned from a conversation I had um, with uh, Kiefer Sutherland. <clears throat> he he was explaining um, uh, how hard you know entertainment and art is when they come together sometimes they don't always mix very well and uh he told me if if you don't break your own heart i'll do it for you mm -hmm. and i wrote on a napkin i trust you to kill me and that became the title of the record that's an interesting story yeah. and i'm sure there's many interesting stories in within the cd because you mm -hmm. have a lot of great songs thank that you are very heartfelt thank you and I'm, I'm very impressed with the CD. And um, I, I mean, I, I got an advanced copy, right? You know how it is. So you got, you're the one. <laughs> I'm the only <laughs> one, no. I'm that special. Thank you, Rocco awesome. and Kiefer, you know. No, but um, when, as soon as I got the CD, I, I can't get it out of my CD player. Cool, it's yes. sticky, good. It's great. I it, like that. And it does take me on a journey. Awesome. And it's all about your life experiences. Let's yeah. talk a bit about that. Well, um, you know, mostly uh, when I think of art in general, I try to start with a very specific um, place and time and work my way out and try to connect with, with others from there. But until I have that um, uh, specific experience or that uh, sensation um, to start with, there's really nothing I... Um, there's nowhere I can go. I have to have like a, a start from a very small place, and that this record starts from a very small place and seems to be working its way outward. Just from from you saying that, and from other people telling me that they're they're uh, connecting with it or drawn to some of the material on the record. What else is your inspiration for writing? Um, you know, it could be anything. Um, if I'm inspired. Uh, by any kind of art, whether it be uh, something I read, something I've seen, um, uh, something somebody said to me that just like really moved me. Um, you know, there's moments of uh, kindness that I'll see and I'll really, really like, it'll hit me hard, you know. Um, and I'll, I'll have something to go with, you know. I'll have, again, a really small place to start from and hopefully it'll work itself outward on its own. Speaking of influences and, and music mm -hmm. that gets you inspired, mm -hmm. what is your favorite CD, past and present? Past, I would have to say, um, probably uh, Mississippi John Hurt. Um, I was a folk artist uh, live at Berkeley. It's an amazing, um, inspiring like uh, performance done by an old master who really knew how to tell a great story and and uh, knew how to be um, very dynamic and sensitive all at once um, modern you know I'm there's not a lot of modern things that I'm um, listening to these days. listening to not to say that I don't like it I just um, uh, it has to really speak to me I guess uh, cigaros. Oh, great. Um, their new project is really beautiful, and uh, I really believe in, in their movement, so that would probably be the most inspiring modern thing that I've heard, yeah. 
there's a song called Draw. Mm-hmm. It's one of my favorite tracks, Draw. Oh, cool. It reminds me of a radio head, mm-hmm. you know, similar to that style. Mm-hmm. And you have a lot of diversity on this CD. Mm-hmm. And this track just took me back to, you know, Tom York, Radiohead. And is, is Radiohead one of your influences? I'm a, I'm a big fan of Radiohead, although I don't dip, um, I don't go to them for um, uh, inspiration. Um, mostly, mostly I go uh, to what I consider the source, early Americana um, folk music. And uh, blues. And some blues, right. if it's primitive. Um, if it's if it's folk blues, if it's a song, if it's a real song with a real story, or a real um, uh, misery or sorrow, I'm usually pretty attached to it, and uh, so that's usually where I go through for for most inspiration. But the song "Draw" specifically is about a little girl who um, was uh, using chalk on the um, cement. And uh, she was drawing her family, and she drew a line from her to her mom, and then to, to her dad, and to everyone else. And I thought, you know, that's a pretty simple and powerful statement. Uh, we tend to complicate things quite a bit, and just to draw a line to somebody seemed a very uh, um, just simple. It mattered. <laughs> 